Previously on Norwich's Nook, I showed you another edition of my charger plate DIYs. Okay, so if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to check it out right after this video. So this video is in collaboration with my sisters, Leia of A Touch of Glam and Diddy Mom Boss. So make sure to check out your videos right after this video. I will have the links in the description box. So let's get started. Good. So for this Christmas DIY decor collaboration, I will show you a very elegant centerpiece you can make for yourself this Christmas. So first things first, I'll be using this vase which I made in a video before this. I will have the link up in the description box and also you can click right up here. Yes, to the direct link to watch how I made this vase from scratch. Okay, so that's the first thing. You could use any other vase um, of your choosing as long as it has a wide mouth. Second thing is you get a bunch of ornaments, Christmas ornaments, one large size or two and then a bunch of other different sizes. I also got these peaks, some from the dollar store and also some from Michaels. Pardon how I sound today guys, I've not been well, I've been under the weather and um, yeah. But we're still gonna do this okay <laughs> well before i continue i would like to welcome all of you here who are new to my channel from today's channel or from a touch of glam you're welcome and i would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my family okay my name is naraji and welcome to my nook so as you've seen, I used some styrofoam and some green um, plastic grass to fill in my vase before I will proceed to building my arrangement. So I will be using some skewers to make my arrangements long enough uh, to give it some stem so that I'll be able to place that in my vase. Just watch as I do this. Once again, this is an amazing collaboration with my beautiful, beautiful, amazing sisters, Dede Mambas and A Touch of Glam. So make sure to check out your videos in the description box, guys. You would not regret it. These girls are amazing, if I say so myself. So next, I will be inserting the pics, the Christmas pics, which I got from my girls and some from the dollar store. I recommend you checking out a dollar store just right, right about after Thanksgiving. That is when they actually do stock up on these. And um, yeah, because they're pretty good and they sell them for really, really cheap. So if you're not there early during the season, trust me, it's going to be hard for you to find them afterwards because everyone is grabbing them, okay? <laughs> So there's no special formula to put in the peaks, so I just put them all spaced out enough for me to be able to insert my ornaments. So what I'll be doing now is putting the ornaments on the skewers so that I'll be able to go ahead and place them accordingly. So just watch as I do this. Okay, so the colors that I chose to go with were some rose gold some champagne and then some greenery and a little bit of gold but mostly rose gold and champagne i just really love this mix for christmas color or decor so um and it also blends very well with the vase that i'm currently using so you can use any color of your choosing you're not limited to the colors that i'm currently using oh i think i did miss silver so i'm, I'm also using some silver but not a lot of that you will notice mostly the rose gold and the champagne so now that we're all set with our ornaments on our skewers i will go ahead and place them in the vase so just keep watching as i do this trust me there is a method to this madness <laughs> so keep watching until we see the final product okay okay while we carry on with our DIY you guys know I love to interact with you all in the comments section so I would love to know what your favorite Christmas colors are so if you can please comment your favorite Christmas color or colors combination in the comments section I'll be more than happy to read that and possibly do a DIY around that as well so yeah do let me know you already know mine 
I don't know about you all, but Christmas is my favorite season ever. Like, I just love the atmosphere around this time. Like, the buzz, the atmosphere, the energy, the vibe, everything about Christmas just awakens my spirit and my soul, guys. Yeah, so yeah, I'm so looking forward to Christmas. It's my favorite time of the year, so I'd love to know what is your favorite time of the year? Is it Christmas, New Year, Thanksgiving, your birthday? Tell me below. I'd like to know. Yes, I'm nosy like that. <laughs> Although I did not use a lot of pine cones, mainly because I could not find them easily around my area, I strongly recommend that you use those as that will definitely add some more beauty to your Christmas centerpiece. I only had three um, pine cones which were already attached to some of the peaks that I have, like this one. So that was good enough for me. But uh, I wish I had more. So just to let you know, yeah, to use some pine cones as well so at this point I went ahead and added some more pigs just to get my centerpiece fuller because the fuller the better obviously so once that was done adding this next I'll be using these smaller ornaments um, garland which um, I will go ahead to attach this on my centerpiece one thing to note here is that uh, you could either um, glue this down individually which would take longer but also worth it or you can actually do this make it in the form of a garland or buy um, ones that are already made in the form of a garland and then go ahead and place them like I am currently doing on my centerpiece arrangement just watch as I complete this all right we're almost there guys so just one last thing to add on this and then we'll be done so once i was done with placing my um, smaller ornaments i will go ahead to add some lights because of course god said let there be light okay <laughs> just want to say complete this so prior to adding my lights i went ahead to cover up any gaps like the one you currently see with extra ornaments that i had laying around so at this point you want to check your center pieces for any gaps and make sure that you cover them up so i'll be using this to um, glue down on the major gap which i had right there so i used my hot glue gun to cover that up and went ahead to do so with any other gaps that i found on my center piece you could also use some peaks to do this instead of the ornaments. I decided to move as to its final position before placing the lights. So I'll be using these LED crafting lights which I got from Michaels at 50% off and they use three AAA batteries which I already have inserted and they are warm white. So you could use whichever lights you like but I love this because there are ornaments in the form of lights so it fits or blends perfectly so i will go ahead and place this and then i will show you the final work and you'll be the judge of this you can choose to not use lights on your christmas centerpiece arrangement this is all personal preference okay i choose to use them because i feel they just make it look more christmassy but if you are to use lights, make sure to look for a good spot to hide the battery um, casing. Okay, I just placed mine in the center so it's not very visible. So I will go on to let you see the final look and how it looks like in the dark. Please do let me know what you think about this Christmas centerpiece arrangement. I just loved how this turned out and I really, really do enjoy doing this and sharing this with you all. Also, please do not forget to check out the videos of my fellow collaborators slash sisters, Dede of Dede Mom Boss and Leia of A Touch of Glam. I have their channel links down below in the description box and trust me, you will love them. They are amazing. With that said, that will bring us to the end of this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.